Hi, I'm Cindy Rang. And I'm Brianna Motzkus, and we're from The Fabric Patch. My daughter and I have owned and operated a busy quilt shop in Washington State for over 20 years. We have a retreat center, an active YouTube channel, and a large pattern line featuring our creations. My two sons work on machines. One daughter-in-law is our videographer, and the other is a long-arm quilter. We are a family that love each other, we laugh together, and every once in a while we get some work done. We have a crew that are saints for their efforts at keeping us on track. Thanks for joining us on our wild ride. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's one <laughs> week closer. And it's official now. So now yes. we've got uh, decorations, lights. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you I've get your tree up? We have our tree up. Um, we grabbed um, the wrong tree out of storage. Not really which, the wrong which tree. Which tree did you get? I just didn't grab my white one. Because Robert, Robert has oh, decided. Oh, unfortunate. You took somebody's green tree? <laughs> Who's missing a tree? I know, right? It's did you put one it of up? Yeah, I did. Oh it's my up. gosh, I bet it's mine. It is. It is yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Robert is, um, he thinks this year it should be a traditional tree. Because, you know, I'm hot pink, feathers, froofy. Lime, mm -hmm. lime green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dr. Seuss. Think Dr. Seuss. Sparkles. Think Cindy Lou Who. Yes. So that's what I usually yeah. get. So there was a green tree up in the loft in our section. And so I took it home and I put it up. It was definitely one of mom's because it is probably like. Oh, the skinny one. Yeah. He's oh. skinny. He's like seven feet tall. And he's probably he's only. He used to be in the dining room. He's probably only a two foot circle, maybe. Yeah. But he's straight up. Yeah. He's the dining room tree. He's cute. I used to put up three Christmas trees yeah. at our house, plus the trees up at the cabin. That was back when we had children. <laughs> At home, and so we had you guys. This tree had all the toys all on the it, toys. and my tree was the pretty tree. The golden. That's angel totally my thing. tree. Yeah, so it's in my house. Um, super skinny, super. He's cute, and the ever the kids think he's pretty cool. But we have to go get traditional balls. So you can probably find a box of my balls. Right, I should go yeah, yeah. shopping in the storage. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. However, um, <laughs> Wyatt with his baseball yeah. bat. <laughs> oh. No, leave my balls. Yeah, leave yeah. Balls. The other day he asked. Um, um, he said he wanted to be a monkey. I said, okay, do you think? Be a monkey. And then, yeah. To climb the tree. <laughs> no, yeah. Mom, you yeah, should never say yes to that. <laughs> so then he asked, oh. Mom, I'm going to swing off the tree like a monkey. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're not monkeys anymore. Let's be dogs. And then I, I saved myself because I didn't say, well, you can just, you know, lift your leg on the tree. But I didn't say that because he probably would have whipped it out and peed on the tree. But it was pretty funny. Yeah. Did he? <laughs> That's that potty training trick for like little boys is to pee outside. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like that. So at yeah. the moment, the tree is not falling over. Um, but we don't, have, we don't have any decorations on it yet. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. so far, so good. You're getting older. And Harper just looks at it and says, oh, so pretty. So pretty. She's so, so pretty. sweet. She would not hurt a ball. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, White was being a little stinker and kept touching the tree. Which he was doing mean things to it, but he was poking Dad. And touching it. And Harper. I'm not touching yeah, it. Yeah. That was like pretty much what was happening. I'm not touching and it. And he'd run back really fast. <laughs> oh, it scratched me. I was like, ah, that he's counts so as you touch bad. it. He's so bad. And oh, then I'm going to knock it over. Yeah. And then Harper's <laughs> pretending she's eating it. She'd go, ow. <laughs> Why does the crack it up? Because she's eating the tree, Dad. Oh. Yeah. They just want a little attention. <laughs> We're going to have to have Do one of those. Christmas trees like a cat, but all the balls is very top, but yeah. nothing else below. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any presents under it yet? Um, just some of the boxes that have to be wrapped. Um, yeah. And they haven't touched them yet. I don't think they really realize what it is. But I'm sure once it has pretty paper and a bow on it, it's game on. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's we're we're gonna do it sometime this week. I have to go through. I I shop all year long mm -hmm. um, for Christmas. So I have a big box in my basement that has all these fun things in it and things mm -hmm. I've been thinking of. So we have to go through it and make sure we have. I think we have all of our shopping just about done. I have a few few things waiting to come in the mail, but beyond that, I just have to sort it all out and make sure everybody's got the goods. Yeah. I shop all year long, too. It used to, when you guys were little, I don't know if you remember or not, but we had the girls come over and spend the night, and Dad and I went to Tri-Cities. Yeah. That was always the funnest thing. I miss that. We'd go to Tri-Cities and get all of our Christmas shopping done. We'd go to a movie, spend the night in a hotel, finish it up in the morning, mm -hmm. and then come home and wrap, wrap, wrap. That was really good. We, we liked that. Now Dad has um, discovered the Internet. Uh-oh. I know. It's costing me a lot of money. Does he know what the Amazon is? 
He did. He found Amazon and he found all kinds of fun <laughs> presents and he doesn't understand a budget. Because <laughs> oh no. He's never shopped for Christmas really before right. without me. So he's, you know, shopping. And I did have and he's got grandbabies him. now. Oh, he's game has he's changed. changed. So much more money on grandbabies than he ever did on you. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, no. It's sky's the limit. For I can't wait for uh, so you guys different. to see what Santa is bringing because <laughs> lordy. Yeah. Pa doesn't know uh, about budgets. So, That's pretty funny. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very sweet. And I did show him because Amazon, I mean, I'm fine with Amazon, of course. I'm fine with Jeff Bezos being cra crazy wealthy, but I really like to shop with um, small businesses. We yeah. and I showed Pa. There's a really cool um, toy store. Toy store in Boston. There's a kitchen goods store in Texas that I've been ordering from. And then on Amazon, if you guys don't know this, when you click on Amazon, when you're shopping on Amazon, it'll tell you where it's coming from. So there are a lot of small businesses that are selling their stuff sure. through Amazon. Amazon takes their cut, whatever that is. But it's still a nice way to support small business if you choose that. Because oftentimes when it says Amazon's choice, that means that it's their products that right. they've bought from, you know, China or whatever that they're selling. So you have an opportunity to, to support small business um, mm -hmm. through Amazon, Even. which is, mm -hmm. yeah, which is a good thing. So anyway, so it's kind of nice in all of the shopping, but... You know, I think that we've been done for a while, but Pa just keeps, <laughs> keeps on. And then it has to be it. even, so you have to keep going. Right, you know? one so for one. I'm, there you go. Yeah, I'm you got to take it alone. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's terrible. Does but... he know to watch to make sure it'll deliver before we leave for Christmas? Yes, yes. Oh, good. Yeah, I did show him that. So, yeah, I've, I've shown him too much. I'm, oh, no. I'm ready to change to the password. Out, change the password or <laughs> unplug the router. Oh, hi, sorry. Oh, honey, internet's no. broken. Dang it. You're going to have to go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's just call it good now. Yeah. If I can only get him to rap, but oh, yeah, I know. So and um and a couple things. Uh, speaking of some of those things, um, of the rapping, um, yeah, a nice. lot of you guys might have watched or given up on the <laughs> marathon Christmas. Open there was House a cute 10, 20, 30, uh, comment. Yes. I forget who the name was, but she's like, "Oh my gosh, I've dozed a couple times, but I'm still gonna keep watching it. <laughs> I'm backing up. And I'm watching because it's really good. I just." Need to stay away. I know, I know. <laughs> it's like a, I feel you. <laughs> it's a lot of talking. I know, a lot of talking. Brittany did do some editing of some of the weird little things that happened okay. when we lost sound and stuff, but I think it's still fairly long. But yeah. what's really nice about YouTube is you can just fast forward. Just mm -hmm. fast forward through until you find right. another spot that you want to watch. But we um, did um, this bag video, and mm -hmm. so this is the gift bag, and this is coming up. Tomorrow is it today or tomorrow? Or is it this afternoon? It could be. It might be this afternoon, and mm -hmm. so um, you'll be able to see this. Um, I'm mostly doing this. I just have a whole lot of sewing left to do because of the wrapping paper. It's just easy. Well, it's expensive. It's not very earth friendly, and it's mm -hmm. all of that garbage afterwards, you right. know, to get rid of. So it's kind of a nice thing. So that's coming up. And Imagine then the other what thing... you have to haul home if you don't have to haul home three bags of garbage. Oh my god, that's know. awesome. We go up to the woods. We mm -hmm. um, there's a family cabin that we've gone to for forever. Um, have a lot of good memories up there. Um, yeah, we've been going up there for 25 years. Yeah. So for Christmas, yeah, it's a pretty great. So it's I think all of ours favorite place to be. Mm -hmm. um, but you're unplugged, so there's mm -hmm. no. You have to be. A you family. can't be on your phone. There's no mm -hmm. Wi-Fi. You just have to enjoy the people you're with, mm -hmm. or go play in the snow, mm -hmm. and it's cold. We'll take um, some. We'll yeah. take some pictures when we're up there. Yeah, because you guys um, have seen some of it, like when we were when Mom was oh, yeah. knee up on a four wheeler. That yeah. was it. Memorial but it's Day so weekend. different in the snow. It's, it's beautiful. It's like a Hallmark movie. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, not having yeah. to haul home that much trash. Garbage. Just our basic, you know, mm -hmm. food and that kind of stuff. But that'll be not really, all that really good. Dang wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. And then um, the other thing is, this is there's a class that's coming up next Monday, mm -hmm. and it's a little panel quilt. And do you have these online yet for them? I to do, purchase? but I don't have a picture. Oh. Because there's yeah. a link. You guys will notice there was a link to the Christmas kit. Qu yeah, quilt panel Christmas kit or whatever um, and you might notice we've clicked on that link already this morning um, or yesterday morning maybe I think it went out um, you would notice there's not a picture so I just had to take a picture and it's this panel fix it and so it's this cute little Christmas 
a kind of a soft red so anyway and really the video is about how to trim your panel to mm -hmm. size and how to do some fussy cuts um, it is super fast it's like a 30 yeah. minute do some project. borders so those of you that mm -hmm. um, took a part of the panel palooza um, yeah. and you have panels like oh my gosh now what I'm gonna do with them we yeah, some. and yeah, and so even if you don't have this particular panel, it's a mm -hmm. way to do some other things. So we wanted to show you what that one was. And then some of the other questions that you guys had asked um, mm -hmm. is the reindeer. It's, again, um, it's a moose. Yes. And so this is the pattern for that. It's a two-piece minky, mm -hmm. super, it's super awesome. simple. What turns it into a reindeer is the little red nose. Red nose. Yep. And yeah. this is online. You can search reindeer, you can search Carol Zoo, whatever, it'll pop up. Um, the really nice thing about this is um, you get the safety eyes in yeah. the pattern. Um, so you don't have to worry. If you are going to give it to a little person, they're not going to get the eyes out. You have yeah. to cut the eyes out. Yeah. yeah they're you're awesome. Gonna get the those safety eyes, eyes are pretty good. We do have some. If you maybe have this pattern already and you want to make more, we do have some of the safety eyes in stock, just the eyes. So if you're wanting to mm -hmm. make some more but have a hard time finding the eyes or the nose or whatever. Yeah. She does an email. Yeah. <clears throat> Or call Deb. Do or call some Deb. Little private yeah. shopping. Um, and then um, the other thing that people were asking about is this is that pattern with the um, fingerless gloves. A lot of you guys have been purchasing mm -hmm. this. It is the best thing. Um, and then it also, she also has a little cowl um, mm -hmm. pattern in there. All of these things are in that pattern. So this is that fingerless gloves one and it's called winter warmers mm -hmm. because somebody said, is it under gauntlet? Is it yeah. under fingerless gloves? And it's both of these I, um, put under the minky category. Um, so you should be able to quickly find that. And then two really fun things. Do you know about this? Did I tell you about this? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. I don't know if you, you didn't Maybe work not. with me Saturday. So, um, you know, I like my little dangly, dangly earrings. And then what happens is, you know, we do, we don't wear a mask next to each other because we're always, yeah. all day long, we breathe the same air and um, have the same germs. Um, but we're very careful in the rest of the shop when mm -hmm. other people are here, if we have other employees, we all wear our mm -hmm. masks or mm -hmm. other people. So, but oftentimes if I'm in another room doing something, I'll take it off for a minute. Or if I'm on the phone, I'll go into a corner talk on the phone, put it back on. So anyway, I'm constantly taking my mask off, putting mm -hmm. it on, taking it off, putting it on. Well, on Saturday, I lost. <gasps> Dang it. I wear these earrings all the time. I love these earrings. So in somebody's package, and that's what, it has to be, because that's what I was doing on Friday. And well, on Saturday morning was when I lost it. And what I had done for the first two hours is that's what I was doing was filling orders. I was grabbing stuff and I'd put my mask back on if I had something to say or if I was in a room with somebody and then I'd take it back off. But that's all I had was orders. So this is why I'm mentioning it and we should do a little close-up picture of this. This, this earring is in somebody's package. And so when you open your package, if you placed an order on Friday or Saturday, hmm. it could be you. It must be stuck in the fabric because I feel like Tracy would have caught it if it was just Tracy would have caught it. It snagged on something because it didn't fall, and so I just want to say That's there so is funny. a prize for you. <laughs> necessarily a reward. I mean, you could send it back. I might hang on to it just in case maybe it's in the store somewhere. I do like these earrings, but we do have a price. So let me know. That's so funny. If you end up with it, but here's what you can do with it is, um, I was going to go grab a bag and then I forgot to, but, um, oh, what, yeah, the zipper pull. Yeah. What I do with lost earrings, yeah. cause this isn't the first yeah, lone earring that I've lost. Yeah, I lose earrings all the time. And I like my little earrings. I have kind of some pretty ones. And so what do you do with one lone earring? And so what you do is you make it a zipper pull. And so, oh, this one is kind of funny. and has a little thing on it. But if you have like that hole, you just poke oh, it yeah. through there. And then you just take it's your pretty. little, your, um, um, what are those things called? Pliers. Mm -hmm. And um, just it's mush it together. And then you have this really pretty zipper pull. So I've done that with lots cute. and lots of earrings. We do with a lot little, of little, the little notion the totes little or the toiletry mm -hmm. bags. It's way cute yeah. to have a cute zipper. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, feel free <laughs> to make a cute That's little zipper hilarious. pull. I know. I was kind of sad from it. And I thought, oh. That's kind of exciting. Who has a little present? <laughs> So what I might do is I might just give it a little while and I might just throw the other one in somebody's package. <laughs> so, you know, we've... That's uh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we'll... Uh, 
So if you find an earring, it's Cindy. It's a zipper pull. It's Mama's. And well, another reason hilarious. I thought I should mention it is somebody's gonna open the package and go, "What is it? What the hell? Why are you just <laughs> throwing this stuff in there?" <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. But anyway, a little present. So funny. So anyway, so let us know where it ended up. I'll be excited. But again, you don't have to send it back That's because I good. probably really am going to have two different winners and um, <laughs> and send out the second one. So, and then, oh, and speaking of presents, um, um, they sent, and I got two presents. I got, um, somebody sent me those Snuggies. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So that was kind of fun. But I took those out there and I forgot the name of the person, but um, somebody sent me a Snuggie, which is kind of fun. So that's super fun. Thanks for that. And then this book, it came from Janet from Montana. And um, there's a book. Every Quilt Has a Story. Oh! And it's very good. I thought that it was like a kid's book, but it's not. It's a really that's nice little so quilting cool. book. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really cool. It has some recipes in it. It's a really nice, very pretty huh. book. So yeah, Every Quilt Has a Story. That's because, awesome. of course, we have the Every Quilt Has a Story, and that every, every Sunday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. you get to see, um, you've seen all of the staff now, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody. And um, now we're starting on some local people, and you'll start to see some people twice, and pretty soon when, you know, more people can be out and about. You'll meet more local people, but we've got a lot of people. Awesome. But anyway, thank you, That's Janet from Montana. Cool. It's pretty. I'm going to take it up to the cabin so the so girls can, read it. can yeah. see it too, and um, and see all that. So, and then um, and then this I wanted to mention. There's a local gal and um, um, Lori who makes these chenille placemat. I mean, um, pot, uh, holders. pot holders. And so we have made these. We've made lots of these. We used to do this as a class mm -hmm. all the time. And if you've not ever done this chenille, uh, we do have a video about it, but it's four layers on this side that you sew, then cut, then wash. Then you've got the insole bright, and you can hear it maybe, the insole bright in there. And then you've got the layer on the outside, and then it is all um, made. Um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. pre-made. It's binding, but it's cotton mm -hmm. binding. It's quilters cotton binding. So to make these, I would say to make one, it probably takes an hour and a half, mm -hmm, two probably. hours, it's, maybe. I don't think it's a fast process. It's not a fast process. Mm -hmm. And um, plus all of the fabric. Well, anyway, Lori makes these and I think that she sells, I think they're like 20 bucks for a Aren't they twenty dollars for a pair or fifteen dollars each? I should have verified to be sure because oh, she doesn't price tag on here. Because what we used to do is when we had our little Christmas bazaar, we used to also sell local so stuff, local stuff that people would make, and Lori would bring up individuals mm -hmm. and pairs. She always sold out. She yep. sold out before noon. All of her stuff was gone. Mm -hmm. So they're fantastic. Now, she does not have an Etsy site. She does not sell on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, but she has an email. And her email address, and maybe we can type it like at the bottom or whatever, but it's thepotholderlady1 at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll call her because we'll have, um, we'll have Brittany put that in at the bottom and then we'll also double check on the price for you because she can um, email you pictures of what she has. She'll mm -hmm. ship to you. She splits the shipping with you. She's small business, so she can't afford to yep. pay for all of the shipping, but whatever the actual shipping is, she'll pay half. Mm -hmm. So oh, cool. anyway, she has a whole bunch that are made because she wasn't able to do any bazaars. Yeah, so she probably got this a year. whole bunch of it. Yeah, she wasn't able to do everything mm -hmm. that they thought they were going to do and then everything canceled, canceled, canceled. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and think about it. If you're wanting to do like a gift basket for somebody, if they're like oh. chickens, if they're, you yeah. know, have farm animals or... Or Christmas stuff, yeah. or kitchen stuff. Have or an idea of what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and then text her. And I bet she has more than enough. She options. has tons of them because she comes in yeah. and buys fabric from us, and she always buys the cutest, yeah, she cutest does. fabric. Yeah, and so and they're always for, and she'll custom make them. If you have something yeah. specific that you're looking for, she made like some parrot ones for Cheryl, and she'll make what you want. Oh, but anyway, cool. she does a beautiful job. They're very, very, very well done. She does have a full time job. This is her side gig. But I think cool. eventually she wants to do, you know, this kind of stuff full time. But yeah. anyway, they're really pretty. And I just wanted to, yeah. I said, oh, I just do a little shout out. Because we were kind yeah. of talking about, you know, small business anyway and other opportunities. Mm -hmm. And and it's just nice, too, because if you are, so many of us, I think, as adults, we do um, so many homemade gifts. Yeah. 
and um, you can, it's still homemade if somebody else makes it. Right? Yeah. I think, well, this is, you can't just find this anywhere. No, you can't. Like, cannot. you can't just go into Marshall's and find this pretty chenilled, handmade. Thick. Thick. It's so thick. nice. And the best thing about it is it's completely washable. And you know it's going to last mm -hmm. more than three washings, like some of those chow oh, made goodness. The more you wash it, the, the better, better it looks. will look because yeah. it's chenille. So it's, it's even great. Even if, um, like, I know on my um, counter, I don't always do a placemat because, I mean, I do usually, but if we're doing like a bowl of soup or something, it still heats the bottom of my wood table and I hate that it leaves a mark. Mm -hmm. um, I will grab um, <clears throat> my pot holders and put the bowl on top of it yeah. so that the heat does not go through it to hurt my table. Even if the little placemat is not usually thick enough, but this will definitely protect anything from a hot plate, so your hot turkey mm -hmm. plate or... And paper plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, what is crap. it with paper they, plates? They, they're making they're getting cheaper and cheaper. Super cheap. <laughs> they're sweaty. Yeah, they're gross. Oh. You can't if you're using paper plates. You have to have either a placemat yeah. or something. So these are super yeah. great. They're Just bad. throw them in the washing machine. Throw them in the dryer. They'll yeah. look as good as they went in. Yeah. So they're so, kind of fun. and they'll last a long, long time. So yeah. I think it's super special. It's something you can't find it. You know, just anywhere. You cannot. You mm -hmm. can find them at the potholder lady one. Yes. <laughs> at Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. Or Gmail. Where was it? Yeah, Dyer. Yeah, Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and then we had a question we were going to end with. Um, so uh, uh, there was a survey, and they asked, who is the hardest person on your list to buy for? Everybody has the same answer, right? Who's the hardest person on your list to buy for? Dad. Dad. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-five percent said dad. Oh, God. you know what? He's do you gonna buy? get a gift card. He's gonna get a gift card. What does he need? I what don't do know you what get he needs. him? Yeah, what do you get him? Because first of all, if there is something that he needs, he, can go he buy buys it. it. Mm -hmm. Because if he, j I mean, and what does he need? He's a sixty-year-old man. Right. I can't wait until my kids are big enough to make him a present, so he can have one of those coupon right. cards. Right. <laughs> right. Rick leaves right. with you. I'm oh, ready for Dad to get coupon so cards for my kids because I'm out of ideas. That like, I'm really down to a gift card. I know. <laughs> it used to be so fun when the kids were little. We would, we would take, I would take you guys shopping to pick out something for dad. And one year in particular, it was just so fun because everything they got him was like, um, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Who's that guy? Oh, uh, Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison Ford. Uh, and what's his character's Joe, name? Tom, Tom, no. Indiana, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. It was all Indiana Jones stuff. That's hilarious. Got it. Because Jordan picked out this great big hurkin, you know, hunting knife, which dad doesn't hunt, <laughs> no. but that's what it was. It was a <laughs> big old machete. And um, I think Jared picked out um, like a horse whip and you picked out that crocodile bundy <laughs> hat. And it's like, whatever you want. You think Jared would like that? No, we're good at that. And it was just so great because this picture of him, you know, with you three kids and him holding this, you know, Harrison Ford, um, Indiana Jones stuff. And it's like, oh, that's so sweet. That's so like, you guys think your dad is some, you know. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Great he's not. Hunter. But that's so sweet. I thought that was just great. So yeah. anyway, I kind of love those days. But yeah. but yeah, he's hard. So we want to know in your comments, we want to know. Who's your hardest? Yeah. Gosh, yeah. yeah. And and what are some ideas? You know, what are some ideas for guys? Right. It's super hard. And who is your hardest? You're right, because I think also, I think mom, moms are, see, moms, yeah. it's not hard for me. It's not hard for me to ever do for a girl because I, uh, an adult I think maybe that, I mean, I think yours was a little tricky, but I have to go pick it up today. What? It's from locally. Mm -hmm. From Harrison's? It's, from, oh, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> from my credit. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I think if moms it's always are hard. dead. Yeah, I don't think moms are hard. Because you can get mom a pedicure and she'd be happy. Yeah. Like an somewhere apron. to be an hour without any kitchen stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think moms, I think, I think, I think adult are women are easy. Mm -hmm. I think anybody under the age of 10 Just is easy. easy. Mm -hmm. Teenagers are hard. Mm, probably. They have an opinion by then. And I think I don't know, my two-year-old has opinions. She's, she does. She's the yucky and she's she going to tell me. Yeah, she does. So anyway, so let but, us know. Yeah. Just Yeah, share with us, you know, who's hard to buy for and what are some ideas for guys? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm getting PA gift certificates. Mm -hmm. Now that he's discovered online shopping, <laughs> I might oh. just as well make it a present and <laughs> direct where he's going to go and there you leave go. my Amazon account alone. <laughs> Right. If only he would Jeez. pay his bills. 
<laughs> he doesn't pay any bills. Oh my, you got a card on here. Perfect. <laughs> And all these packages, I get excited. It's like, wait a minute. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's yeah, funny. It is funny. Yeah. All, all right. right. Do you have anything else? I think we're all good. Uh, I think, I think that was all for our questions. We had, and be sure and um, email us your questions yeah. or give us a call. We are here. We are fairly certain, and you guys hear this all the time, and I feel bad about this, but we're fairly certain we're going to be shut down. Our governor's going to talk to us on um, the 14th. The 14th. And we've already had, um, Lord, do you have bad breath? <laughs> Lizzie's down there panting. Um, um, we're still going to be here anyway. It'll right. probably be back um, the way that it was in the spring. Brianna and I were here every day because mm -hmm. we have to be here. Um, mail comes at 10. Um, UPS comes about 1130 and mm -hmm. FedEx comes at 2. So we have to be here every day between 10 and 2. Yep. And so we fill orders. We do curbside pickup. Um we can answer the phone. So we'll be, we'll just watch our website. It'll mm -hmm. talk about our hours and um, we'll also change our answering machine and if then something changes. The other thing I should add is uh, we were aware that the face mask tab, um, if you're still making masks and still oh, looking for that, that it was down. Broke. It is back up and happy again. So um, I our got that. Our website crashes every once in a while. I, know. I, I don't, I don't I know why that page got affected, mm. but the page never rebooted. So I was able to get in there, do some whatever, and it's up and running again. So if yeah. you're wanting to get to Jesse Mask templates or watch a video again, again, all of Cindy's mask videos and all that jazz. What is happening? Stop licking She me. needs love. Ew. I got her corona on my hand. I know. Uh, only I know. the dogs can get corona. And bad breath. <laughs> so if you're looking for that tab, it is hot and working again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and if there's anything else you need, we know we're getting down to the wire Yeah, it's for it's, Christmas yes. stuff. I've got so much sewing to do and wrapping. Yes. Anyway. All right. All right, you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see, see you in you a soon. week. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.